Hello everybody, I'm Carolina Tony. Thank you for stopping by my channel. Today the road brings us to Central South Carolina. And we are here at the Central Roller Mills. In the early 1900s, this thing rolled out cornmeal. And we're going to take a look and do a little exploring around right after this station identification. These trays are attached to a belt that would carry the corn or the meal to the top to be stored in the silo. I'm okay. see here in Central South Carolina at the roller mill. It's pretty interesting though. Uh, they used to take corn and grind it into meal and flour here many years ago. Thank you for joining me. We are not finished yet. We're going to explore some more. The road has brought us to Wahala, South Carolina, and we are fixing to go into Stump House Tunnel. We are at the end of Stump House Tunnel. This was once used by Clemson University as a cheese cave. And there's the end of the tunnel, or as far as it goes. I guess where they I guess that's where they kept all the good cheese. All right, we are here at the end of the tunnel. It started out as a railroad tunnel and they never finished it. Some point in history, Clemson University took it over and turned it into a cheese cave. 
good idea. Let's make our way out. Well, there was a lot of people here today. I did a video probably a year ago here at Stump House Tunnel. I'll put the link down below. A lot of more, a lot more history in that video. But let's go see what we can find to get into. Today we are in Wahala, South Carolina, in front of the Oconee County Courthouse. But we're here for another reason. We are here to check out the Museum of the Cherokee here in Oconee County. As a interesting tidbit for you, Oconee is the only county in South Carolina that is named after the Indian. Let's go explore. Mm -hmm. And so when people come in trying to have a number of roles, Cherokee, listings of Cherokee from different time periods, they have to know the grandmother's name to try and trace their family. We also in the next room have a large ceremonial drum that was given to us uh, by a gentleman from Florida So this is a ceremonial drum right. that was made from a tree that was struck by lightning and it's a ceremonial drum and over 300 years old. So this is a ceremonial pole. Yeah. So the ceremonial pole, last time it was used, was in 1940. And when this museum was started eight years ago, they went back to see if they could find it, and this is all that was left of it. They brought it here. Saber tooth cat, yeah. Steve. Now, while touring this museum of the Cherokee in uh, Wahala here in Okoy County, Oconee County, one of the things that talks about the polar ice cap was down as far as Pennsylvania at one time, and people would come from Europe down through there. And if you think about it, the polar ice cap coming 40,000 years ago, coming down to Pennsylvania, think about global warming. Perhaps that's when it really started. This is to the last time I checked. The polar ice cap's a whole lot farther up than Pennsylvania now. From 8,000 to 3,000 BC was known as the Archaic Period. And that's when the environment started to change and the way they hunted and lived changed also. Hammer stones, a drill point from the archaic period, grooved axes from 3000 BTC to 1670 AD was known as the woodland period. It was characterized by increasing horticultural expertise and the use of ceramics and increasing sedimentism and social complexity. But compared to the previous archaic period, the pottery technology 
improved, allowing the containers to be made in a variety of shapes and sizes for cooking stored food. From 1539 to 1543 was known as the Mississippian period. Hernando de Soto, he traveled through the region and would become, that would become the southeastern United States from 1539 to 1543 with an army of more than 600 men. During his passage through, he wreaked havoc on the indigenous southwestern Indians, commandeering everything that he needed or wanted for his men. The Cherokee, like those illustrated here, came back to Brasstown Village site in Oconee County, South Carolina for ceremonies up until 1947. It's a dugout canoe that was discovered in the Chattooga River in 2002 and it took them two years to get it out after all of the archaeological red tape with the South Carolina Department of Archaeology. Here is another that was found. in the Kiowa River. My granddaughter and I were just out touring and stumbled on this museum here in Wahala in Oconee County. And she, like myself, loves a good museum. Cabin. Tenant Farmer's House. A lot of folks would have a problem knowing that how people used to live 150, 200 years ago in a little one room building with a stove and a bed. A Coke machine from the Coney State Park in the late 1940s, 10 cent. You put your dime in, pull the lever down, and a bottle would pop out here, and you pop the lid off there. And once ever so often, you come into town and get you some dry goods and take back to your little one room house. Purchased your local general store an automatic washing machine my mother had one when I was a tiny little kid but I think hers was electric I believe this is a wagon that was used to transport chain gang prisoners to the job site. Well, I'd like to thank you for joining us on our tour of Upstate South Carolina. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give us a big old thumbs up. But for now, y'all have a good day.